Welcome back to No Boat Required. This is a Friday after work trip, June 12th. The uh, whole weekend was pretty slow as far as fluke fishing was concerned. The uh, cold front that came in and, and the wind did not help things along. Only managed a few bites each day, but I ended up getting a keeper each day. So it wasn't that bad. I fished for an hour and a half with a high-low rig with a constant jigging action. I only had one bite doing that and I switched to the single jig and this was the second second or third cast and he comes in at 18 and a half inches. Some of you may recognize the fish alarm that's in the background. It happens <laughs> on two fish that I catch. It's just pure coincidence, though. I'd like to take a second to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the thumbs up and also click the notification bell. You'll receive notification when a new video of mine comes up and I hope you enjoy this episode. Baby flu. Here comes a fish alarm again. All right, this is the 13th. Uh, the two rigs that I used this day were the high-low rig and then the single bucktail with a trailer that you might not recognize. It's a Zoom twin tail trailer, originally made for spinner baits. Has a nice tough head section to it. Stays up on the hook pretty good. The two tails have a lot of action. They also cast really good on windy days that has, has less wind resistance than a uh, curly tailed grub or something like that. I had thrown the high low rig for an hour at least. Had one bite off on the uh, shrimp up on the high hook. I switched to this uh, single jig with the zoom trailer on it. And the fish told me that that's what they wanted that day. They took one cast.
This one was 18 and a half also. I made a short move after fishing for a while with no more bites. Kind of had some bad luck going on here. But I catch a short and then I have two breakoffs in a row on the hook set. One of them was probably I got a nick in the line, the, the first one. I re-rigged and the very next cast set the hook again and the, I don't know whether the fish had the Jig all the way in its mouth and the teeth cut the line off, but it was frustrating. Didn't get that second one on video. Something that for some reason the camera was off, but anyhow, that was then I never got another bite. So it was kind of a kind of a tough end to that day. This fish grabbed a hold of it, just kept swimming along with the current. Never really got it in his mouth. As you can see, when I pick up the jig, even the, the hair on the bucktail is bitten off. Here's the break off. It breaks off a little little bit underneath the top loop knot. The loop knot was fine. It was about a half an inch down from the loop knot, so there must have been a nick in that line there. I had switched to 15 pound leader, uh, and I used it all last weekend when I, I caught uh, five keepers. And I used it uh, the day before this, and I caught the first couple of fish on it, and then all of a sudden here it started breaking. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but I've since gone back to the 20 pound leader. Just, it's a little more uh, forgiving if you do get a nick in it. This is the 14th. I didn't start fishing until right after lunch, about, I don't know, 12.30 or so. I didn't like the forecast for the morning. It was going to be really cold. There's was that 51 when I got up in the morning. Plus, it was supposed to be 13 to 15 mile an hour winds down to, at the shore. So I waited until uh, lunchtime to go out. Start off here because it's windy. I like to start with the... Uh, high low rig you keep in touch with the uh jig bet in you know better with the high low rig because you're constantly reeling 
with the single jig you twitch it up off the bottom and then you, you're introducing slack into it and it's sometimes when it's windy it's really tough to feel the bites Try it. I need help carrying it. <laughs> I caught just that one little tiny fluke on the high-low rig. Then I switched to the uh, single jig. And you'll see it doesn't take long. This fish, that's what he wanted. But I did fish for a while after this and never got another bite. He came in at 19 and a half inches. Nice fish. If anybody has any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. I'd appreciate it. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and click the thumbs up. And remember, to have fun fishing, there is no boat required. And we'll see you next time.